Um, so this is Wednesday, September 16th. Uh, this is the Sakai Morpheus check-in, uh, informal meeting um, and general discussion. And this is Neil Caden, uh, Sakai Community Coordinator. So uh, I see a couple more people are joining, very cool. So I think, uh, um, why don't we s sort of build an agenda first? Maybe I should have an etherpad for this one too. Let's see. It's almost always nice to have a little place to put some notes. So Morpheus, 16th September, and I've got an etherpad. All right, I'll paste it into big blue button here. All right, so why don't we just take a minute to to uh, build the agenda? Um, I put the link in for the etherpad there. All right, um, so one thing is the status of the documentation. Another thing is uh, kind of the status of the skin contest. Um, let's see, which are kind of separate but related. Um, we like to put a placeholder in to review Jira issues, so we might want to I don't know if any new Jira issues have come in over the last week, um, but I think we didn't hit all of them, but we hit a lot of them. So that's just some of the things I'm suggesting, but anyone could put, put down any agenda item you want or suggest. Hello, hi, Sean, hi, Mariano. Hi, Chuck. Hello. <clears throat> I just uh, pasted an etherpad in, uh, etherpad link in, so we can just kind of quickly build an agenda. Compose a song about how wonderful the new documentation is. All right. Yeah, that's my. That's what I think is an important thing we do. Okay. <laughs> and I can't even type it right. <clears throat> so now that's not actually singing the documentation. So you're not suggesting we we write a song or singing the actual documentation now, but just singing a song celebrating it. No, it's you know. It's kind of, you know, it'll be legendary. We'll have to have a song about this legendary cool documentation. Okay. I'm going to step away for like two minutes, grab a cup of coffee, be right back. So okay. I'll, I'll reannounce when I reappear. Okay, cool. All right, so, so Uday, how about we uh, take a look at the documentation and, and talk about where we're at with that? Yep. Uh, so I posted the link in the ethernet pad. Uh, so that's the draft what we are working on currently. And uh, um, I have uh, the basics uh, of the list of what we need for the skin contest. Um, I'm still working on the elaborated document for uh, extra deep drive, deep dive stuff, so uh, like indicating other frameworks and etc. Um, but uh, I would think that most of, 70% of the documentation uh, is there, um, but uh, I still need some feedback of how it looks and if you need more depth, uh, more in-depth explanation of some basics or is that okay. Um, so any feedback is appreciated at this point. Oh, um, review. Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, Do I have to share it? Let's see. Um, what I can do is change it to. Oh no, I guess not. I don't have that permission to share it. Let me see if this works. Yeah, it's right now just shared with Eduardo, me, and Dr. Chuck. Can you try this link now and see if it's working? Okay. 
Okay, that's great. Uh, I think which is located in. So what does step three mean? Master theme cannot be used directly. You have to compile. You have to compile the master and generate the actual default skin. Oh, it says then the next step set explains how to compile the master skin. Okay. Hello? Hello, we're just uh, reviewing the documentation. Ah. So, I guess let's see, compiling our own scheme with Maven. I mean, it looks pretty clear to me. I don't know anything uh, much about, I know a little bit about CSS, not very much. I think I could almost uh, use this to create a skin myself. Yeah, that's my reaction as well. I mean, I just want to start trying it, right? And then give comments and feedback. I mean, it, yeah. it's, it's exactly what I'd hoped. <laughs> And the fact that it's only two pages long, I just scroll back and forth and wonder. I mean, I'm sure there'll be more, right? I'm sure that people who use this will cause see questions, but this yeah, is what uh, I was hoping I to start. Uh, yeah, I still have to write the, the no sections. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, the basic colors, right? You know, you hit yeah. the, you hit the first things first, right? Yes. This, this gives people like this sort of joyous sense that like you go bang and something happens, right? Um, mm -hmm. you, you hit the low-hanging fruit right away, which is exactly what I think these this kind of thing needs to be. So the first hook basically allows you to do any much anything uh, using the current bootstrap, uh, changing the defaults and everything, and uh, also using bootstrap also changing the bootstrap. Really. So, So, so uh, the question yeah. is, why wouldn't we just make this a readme um, dot md in say slash portal? In the slash portal, okay. I, 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 I'm checking right now if there's anything there, but why not, right? I mean, sure. what else in slash portal is even worth thinking about? I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of Java code in there, but it's not what people think about. Well, there's a little one in there. Maybe what you would do is make a take that readme.md and make a link to morpheus.md and then just put a morpheus.md there. Mm -hmm. Right. 
I mean, I've got, I, I must have wrote that. It's just, or somebody did. What's there? Yeah, yeah, I wrote that. Just, I would, I would just move this there. I mean, un, unless you're working on it a lot, but what would be cool is to send the documentation of this around to the whole dev list, like within two hours right now. Because it's not entire, it's not like wrong, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. I mean, it, it it may have a typo, but you know, if if eighty people look at it, we'll find that typo quicker. You know, it's it, 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 there's no reason to hide it, even for another hour. To be honest, okay. people can send you pull requests <laughs> to fix typos, and that could be fun all by itself. So, I don't know. I'd get it out quick. Yeah. Oh, Sean, I'm, 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 uh, Sean says, what about reference? Um, is there a read me there? Oh yeah. Yeah. Good point. I'd say, so what I think Sean you're saying, which I think I'm quickly agreeing with you is, uh, put it in reference. There's no read me and then, and then point it to, um, um, I would, but I wouldn't, uh, Uday, that thing you just said, I would go top of reference, not deep in Morpheus. I'd okay, put that is in reference. Top of reference, and then let's refer to it in portal. Read me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I agree with you, Sean. So, so just make that be the read me in reference. And if we need mm -hmm. to do, do something, like rename it to Morpheus and something, and then link to it, if there's something else in reference that we're doing, um, fine. But just I'd start with read me in reference and call it good. Okay. And add a link to it in, uh, or at least a pointer to it in uh, portal. Okay, cool. So do we need any more discussion on the documentation other than uh, thanking uh, Uday? Uh, I don't know, did Eduardo also work with you on this or was this mostly, uh, mostly your handiwork? Um, uh, this is me uh, so far, uh, but I think Eduardo will be looking at it and also reviewing if he wants to do anything or add one more. Uh, uh -huh. But so far it's me. Oh, cool. Well, so I think the main thing is to thank you. I don't know if there's a, are there any other things we need to talk about on that or just thank Eduardo. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, as I said, Edward is still uh, needs to see just to see and review if everything looks good and uh, if you think he needs uh, some more things to be added or whatever he wants to. Cool. Um, if he says it's good enough, and uh, I'll definitely upload it into the, the GitHub and also GitHub. And uh, go from there. And then make an announcement to Sakai Dev? Mm hmm. Cool. All right, shall we move on? Yeah, we can take the time for thank. I see the thank yous, which are, are great. Oh, no problem. Um, so the next, the next item is the status of the skin contest. So uh, we almost have the judging panel uh, assembled. I'm waiting to hear back from Duke whether they, because they told me they might have a student uh, worker or two, um, so I'm hoping to hear back today. Uh, and then um, we uh, have the September 30th uh, presentation, which, by the way, I'm not going to be available on that day. So I'm wondering if somebody else could step up and be the moderator, which doesn't require a lot of work, right? The main thing is to say hello, um, introduce folks, and um, start the recording. That's about it. Um, so does anyone want to, um, before I start picking on people, oh, William said I can, I can moderate. Okay, <laughs> great, thanks. That's perfect. Um, uh, other than that, I think uh, I'm going to make uh, an announcement about it, and uh, um, I don't think there's anything else more to say. Um, we're still working on the submission process, but I think we'll have that soon and we'll start just kind of advertising, advertising the heck out of it, making sure it's in the newsletter, um, and that more gets out. So any other, any other thoughts about, uh, the skin contest? I don't know, Fulma, if you have anything to add. Um, I actually just had a couple questions uh, for Chuck. I know you had said that you were going to put up the prize money for that. Were you thinking one big prize for the winner, or were we going to like give away more than one for different categories? Or 
had you gotten that far? I just like gave a note to the to the. I just said four hundred bucks, and mm -hmm. I thought that Neil already came up with kind of a split up. I thought I saw something go by, which was fine with me. I, I figured four hundred dollars, not necessarily out of one person, and then split however it wanted to be, however people okay. thought, right? Mm -hmm. I was gonna, I was gonna be the check writer of said thing, or the <laughs> person who, um, uh, the the person who um, who the per the the person who sent all the Amazon gift certificates or whatever. That that's it. Okay. So Neil, I don't know if we had the the list of categories yet, but that's something we can work on as we kind of get the details ironed out for the submission process, right? Yeah, and I think we did. Uh, there was some suggestion, and I know I put it in some notes somewhere. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, and I I could always reconstruct it, um, you know. And it's not in stone anyway, but it was things like you know creativity and you know, function, you know, how functional it was, you know, so uh, the aesthetics, things like that. It was just, and yeah, I, I just think we had a meeting, we had some notes along those lines. So I'll go back to that and see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I think uh, Wilma, you had asked me if um, we need this extra planning group. And I think basically we don't need the separate planning group now, now that we have the judges and we have, you know, the documentation and we have kind of a plan. I don't think we need a separate group for that as well. Um, and uh, as soon as we get the, the judging thing going, we can, uh, you know, they can, the judge, the judging panel can make those final decisions. Okay. It's fine, fine with me. And um, Sean writes, how will people submit? And I believe the thought process is we're going to use Sakai, right, Wilma? Yeah, that was what we had discussed. And I don't know if anybody else has a better suggestion. I mean, it's not 100% um, set in stone. Um, but we were thinking that we would have a site where people could upload their um, a picture of their skin uh, as kind of a preview so people could view it easily. And, and then that would live in um, Sakai, probably in Lessons, um, potentially some other tool. But uh, we were thinking lessons would be an easy place to display those. Yeah, and then we'll have we'll have more details as uh, as we go through because there's you know even within Sakai there's multiple different ways to 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 manage that. Um, okay, I don't think I have anything more on the Sakai skin contest unless anyone else has questions or ideas. Awesome. So um, the final thing that I thought of for the for the meeting is we said we would deal with um, with Jira issues. <clears throat> so let me just do a quick query. I really need to save a filter on this. Um, we have 29, which seems like it's a similar number to what we had last year, but let me, I mean, last week, last year. Um, and let me just uh, finish this query. Order by uh, created. Oh, oh, I know. And created erg greater than like in the last week. This will be a little more than last week. So I think we haven't had any new, is that right? Is that a good query? I think that's right. <coughs> <coughs> So here's my query, which I'll paste in. This covers uh, to the Etherpad. This covers like the last week. And we haven't had any new issues um, reported in the last week on Morpheus, which may be that we haven't had a lot of testing, is my guess. Um, we didn't cover all the issues last time, um, but we covered a lot of them. Uh, let's see. Can you hear me? I lost audio for a second there. Hear you yeah. now. Okay, cool. So um, let's see. I think we got through 
all the blocker and critical issues, if I remember right. Um, and uh, so we could go down and and uh, work on majors. And I think we even got through some of the majors. I think we hit like 18 of the 28 issues or 29 issues. Um, so does that seem like a good use of time, or do folks want to look at the Morpheus issues, you know, offline and just end the meeting early? What would you prefer to do? Or I'll just kind of get up, start going into that. The only problem I have is I don't remember exactly where we left off. I know we tried to put a comment on each one, so we knew we reviewed it. Let me just look. So. Does anyone, anyone happen to remember where we left off? Yeah, I think that's the problem. I so. don't. You don't? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to make a guess then. I think we went through all the blockers. I think we went through the criticals. Um, I think we even went through some of the majors, but let me see if I can find where in the major level issues we might have left off. Be sure we hit that one. So I guess what I'll do is I'll mention the issue uh, verbally and see if people remember it. Um, and uh, if we already reviewed it, then we can just kind of skip it. But I'm noticing some that don't have comments on them. Um, so like SA and uh, SAK29507 is Morpheus is changing uh, files and source folders. I don't remember if we talked about that. Paste it in here. I think maybe we went almost till uh, 29414. 29414. Okay. Um. So that's single width uh, tool pages of Trinera. Do we, do we actually get through that one? Oh, that one's probably resolved. We have to um, retest that yeah, one. Mm -hmm. Some styles have far too much white space under Morpheus, SAK29218. I think it's the same thing. Probably switched in the new version. Oh, no. Because this is, the screenshot is way older. Yeah. Well, much. right. That one had a comment on it, too, so I'm not sure. Two nine three one six, and that one needs to be retested. So it felt to me like we had about eight to ten issues we hadn't had a chance, but but I don't know that any of those were them. Those are all ones I think that need to be retested to see if there's still issues. So why don't I guess you just kind of peruse down the list and see are there any we haven't covered or need further discussion? And if there's if there's not, then uh, you know I'll try and review offline. Um, I think we should have a convention when we review things that we, we tag them and put a label on them or something so that way we can, you know, be sure if we've uh, resolved, you know, if we don't put a comment on it, we should at least put a, a label on it of some sort so we know we've reviewed it. And I guess the other question is, I know Uday, you've only got a few weeks left. Um, kind of who's going to be working on the on the issues, working through them? Um, 
my replacement eventually will be uh, so far they are still looking for one um, but uh, i i may be still uh, somewhat active in the community uh, in my personal time um, but uh, i may not be uh, available in the meet in the weekly meeting right um, but i'll definitely go to the videos and uh, keep uh, Talk to guys and make it on if I have um, yeah, so I think the 30th is my last day, so it would be like presentation would be the last day. Okay. In nice. Um, so yeah, so far they haven't found anything, uh, but uh, they are trying to find it as soon as they can. Okay. So I guess I guess then the other question is out of all of these, are there any that, that need discussion? <clears throat> or are they all kind of pretty well understood? And we just are waiting so for far, they are, okay. Uh, I don't see anything uh here's explanation. Okay. I'll just give people a couple minutes to look through the list and see if any need, you know, have updates or further discussion. Otherwise, I would, I don't have any other um, issues to bring up. And that reminds me, I also didn't, I didn't get the, uh, I didn't download the Morpheus uh, meeting from last time. So those of you who missed last time, um, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll get the uh, Morpheus downloaded and then upload it to YouTube and let you know. I didn't think we got through the mall, Sean, but I thought, yeah, I thought we got like had like eight or something left, but I don't remember exactly. So again, if we if we've already got all these um, covered from last week, and if we have no, we had no new ones reported this week, and so it's really just if we want if there's any that jump out that anyone wants to discuss, otherwise we'll just uh, um, end the meeting if there's no additional uh, items. That sound like a good idea. Any, uh, do I hear anyone second ending the meeting early? Sounds like a plan. All right, cool. All right, thank you, everybody. Cheers, all. Thank you. Okay, thanks.